Hello all, my name is Nathaniel Newman and today I'm going to be showing off a brand new application that is one of the coolest applications I've come across so cool that I'm actually going to kind of make this a promotional video of sorts for the developer okay, what we're looking at here is the Spirit FM Radio Real radio application, not just internet radio. It's not internet radio at all. For Kaijin Mod ROM, MUI ROM, and any other supported ROM or stock operating system for the Android platform. Okay, let's run down some of the things that are on the screen just right away. Now, if you've done the right thing and you bought the unlocked version, not only are you getting an unlocked, completely advertisement-free operation, you're getting full RDS support, which I will go through in just a moment. You're getting software upgradability, so as new upgrades come out, you can upgrade the software. You're getting software that you do not have to verify internet connectivity or verification to use. I've got no 3G connectivity in this. So that means that if I go a day, a week, a month, and turn the radio back on again, it'll continue working just like I had it from day one. Obviously, since it's real, actual FM radio, it does not require any kind of internet connectivity. So if you've got a data cap on your mobile phone package, you don't have to worry about exceeding that data limit. And obviously, since it doesn't require connectivity at all, you can actually turn the internet off if all you really care about is using the FM radio. So it doesn't require any kind of authorization checks once you've bought the unlock key. This unit also supports a true antenna-less operation, so you can actually unplug the cable and it will still work, albeit it's best to have the antenna connection, the uh, cable for the antenna plugged in. It will provide you a better signal, but it does work like that. Now, on screen, you're getting several different variables on screen here, so I'll lay it out what it is here. You're getting what's called an RSSI. basically a numeric value from 0 to 60 that changes every second and also helps with antenna adjustment for the application to give you a signal strength indicator also as a graphic for the indicator for the radio displaying how strong the signal is the unit also supports if unlocked full RDS support giving you the standard PS or just the standard text that displays on most radios. The PTY, or basically the genre of station you're listening to. The program identification, or call letters, or numeric value if you've got it set to a different country. And complete radio text. Not scrolling, not halfway there, fully there. Seek functionality with graphic and fine-tuned display controls. Multiple preset banks. You can as many preset banks as you so desire. Ten presets per bank. And quick and easy changing between them. Quick start stop without having to shut the program down. Quick switching between the internal speaker and the headphones or Bluetooth support on some devices and this is actually working. Turn the volume up here and switch it to the output. Turn that off. This unit also supports full pausing if, for phone calls. So if a phone call comes in, the unit will actually pause its operation, allow you to take the call, and resume once the phone call is ended. On some devices, and depending on your, uh, your phone setup, you can also use this media control here to start and stop the FM application. Notifications also display in the notification bar for what station you're on. 
Sports Seek, obviously. It's extremely battery friendly. Just running this application just this morning, my battery is still at a nice 83%. Supports easy help function, so you can easily figure out how to use the application. So if you're unfamiliar with uh, a radio application or just need some simple help, it's right there with descriptions on every, for example, display. Tells you what everything is on the display. You can also send in debugging logs, which is not always needed, but because the application runs very smooth. But if you do encounter an error, you can easily send a debugging log in to the developer, who will not only address your concern and email you back, inform you if there's a fix or something you can try, but it'll also try to get any requests that you might have, which you can also email through XDA forms. And it might try to get it in the next build of the software. This is the only application also that is currently supported on many different ROMs. CM7, which is I am running for the Droid X. And right now the only FM radio application for the Droid X if you're running the uh, Kaijin Mod 7. This developer also has lots of experience. So you're not just dealing with a fly-by-night developer, you're de dealing with someone who's had 14 plus years of experience in Linux and Android and electronic technology. So this isn't just someone that's going to take your information, take your purchase, and you'll never hear from them again. Some developers don't like any feedback other than giving them a five-star rating. Uh, this developer will help you if you've got any issues. Really a really great developer. I wish more developers were like that. This unit also supports, of course, uh, full, full RDS as I mentioned, but it does not support RDS currently in, in uh, China. If you do have a tablet-based device, it will support larger button display. It also supports a very convenient landscape display, which gives you almost a dock-like effect. So if it's in a docking station, very easy to use. And these settings. You've got what tuner area you're in, so if you're in the North American region, you can select that. If you're in European, Japan, or even just world, that'll open it up and it'll actually display different RDS information as well as different tuning. As you see there, POP is actually the European standard for country. And this is your uh, program identification code, which would actually translate into your call letters. And of course it will display the current radio text and tuning between stations is now done in 5 kilohertz step increments. I will provide the links at the bottom on this application but support the developer, buy the product and show your support. This is one of the best FM radio applications to date and to be perfectly honest this is the only reason I'm running Kaijin Mod 7 for this application. So if you've got a data cap and you want a simple and easy to use FM radio, or you just want FM radio for your local sports games, music, talk, and don't have to deal with all the authorization mess that some developers put in for security verification, then this is the program for you. Definitely try it out. And thank you for listening and watching.